the man who he coached for and with in Philadelphia, Nick Sirianni's opening press conference in Philadelphia was an absolute disaster. Bad. We all thought this guy is like a deer in headlights. Philadelphia is going to chew him up and spit him out. And instead, they love the guy because he showed off a personality we didn't see at all. And then, you know, he starts talking about you got to water and fertilize and all that sort of stuff. And we're sitting there going, what is this guy talking about? What? The guys in that locker room must be looking at him saying, who, who are you and what are you talking about? And now look at him. So we have to have this caveat because Gannon's coming out of the box the same way we were all thinking about Sirianni. That's true. 100% and the, and the, and the, the fire has been friendly because it's videos the Cardinals keep putting out. When he met Rondell Moore going, pew, pew, pew. You know, like, <laughs> boy, fireworks, sparks. And you're like, <laughs> like, what? Pew, pew. You know, how are you, pew, pew. fellow kid? You know, like, it's, yeah. what? And he's not even 40, right? And, and then again, I can't get past this. The video the Cardinals put out through Schefter. Like, the, one of the biggest megaphones out there in the social media world. For their in-house, uh, I guess, hard knocks. I still don't understand this. This moment of Jonathan Gannon talking to his uh, players. Welcome back. Who drove over here? Quick, let me see your hands. Who took the bus? Did you have fire in your gut? Did you? We're here for a reason. Don't get that twisted. Okay, we're here for a reason to win games. So if you didn't have that fire in your gut, you better light the fire pretty fast. Be who you are, just understand I'm looking for killers. Yeah, I, and so, uh, I, uh, uh, honestly, it, it, it sounds like, and it looks like, I, I'll give Jeff Darlington credit, he's the one who put it out there. It's like Kendall Roy is the coach of, of the Cardinals. <laughs> You know, that's and 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 when you do so, are not right. serious people. That's the way we're reacting, like Logan, yeah. because we're 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 like what I have truly asked so many people in our business, scouts, analysts. I asked this of Kurt and Mooch. I'll rope them in last night during a commercial break. What what does that mean? Is it good? To be on the bus because you're part of a team? Or that's bad because that's the easy way, the the herd mentality or to, to get to the game? Or is it is it good that you're driving yourself because you're driven? You're driving yourself to oh, be great. Okay. Or is that bad because you're not part of the team if you're driving yourself, you're not with the guys? I don't I honestly do not understand it to this day. <laughs> and I've probably spent too much time thinking about yeah, this. Yeah, way too much time. No, I, 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 I know. I'm going to say someone who's produced a lot of reality shows, I, I watch that and I go, this was not, like, this was edited together. I don't think that was one well, what's, simple chain of the I, I don't know. I, think I feel like that was what's together. edited together is the, the, the shots of Hollywood Brown. Yeah, that was and, in there too. And Buda Baker. Just like, huh? Just like where it, it does yeah. those reaction shots. If I was in the edit bay, I'd be like, let's not use those yeah, because it, yeah. I'm confused by what a coach means. And this makes it look like the players are not locked in. And yet they but, edited it like that. But he does come across like Kendall Roy trying to talk about Life Plus, you know, like. Life Plus. And, and, and this is, this to me is a big setup because one of the things that's out there, in all honesty, is Caleb Williams out here in Los Angeles. His, you know what his dad said? Because we're assuming that if this goes the wrong way, like, let's just say the bus is the bad thing, and they they take the bus in, in the 2023 season, and they're first overall. Did you see what, you know, Caleb Williams, it came out last week, was maybe considering not entering the draft. And his dad told GQ Magazine. Yeah, big profile out today. Right, that the system is completely backwards in the NFL. 
saying the way the system is constructed, you go to the worst possible situation, the worst possible team, the worst organization in the league because of their desire for parity gets the first pick. So it's the gift and the curse. So if there's not a good situation, the truth is he can come back to school. Now, that's true. He can do that. And my point also is Carolina was wound up being first on the clock, didn't they? Yep. Because they traded in. Now, nobody's going to give up the pick for Caleb Williams. But the Bears were first on the clock. Were they first on the clock because they have a horrible organization? I know Bears fans, you don't answer that. But I don't know. I kind of dig Ryan Poles and Eberflus. You can't say no. You know, wondering if Eberflus is asking people to take the bus or the or 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 their own car. I, I mean, well, he had a bad record. No, so so, my only thing is as well is, Chris, do me this favor. Yes, sir. Look up who is the special offensive assistant and quarterbacks coach at USC right now. <laughs> okay. Who is that? Uh, is it Cliff Kingsbury? That's correct. <laughs> yeah. I didn't have to look it up. That's correct. So who might be telling Caleb Williams stories about what's going on in the Arizona Cardinals organization? Hey. Where, Mm. you know, Mm. so. That's a very good point, Rich. (laughs) He's He's officially the senior offensive analyst. Put it all together. Put it all together. This is an important story. This is a highly important story going on right now in the NFL. And I can't wait to see it. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free.